What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. I know, it's been a minute. I mean, I know there was that one that I did a few weeks ago, but it's kind of been, you know, it's, it's been a minute since I've actually gotten back into the swing of things. So we're hopefully back to a relatively regular schedule again. Um, so with that... Yeah, it's fun. Good to be back. Glad you guys are all still here. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through all of the uh, the break. I'm still uh, trying to help my brother finish up the project thing that we were working on, but it should be relatively coming to a close. So, And also, I appreciate you guys sticking through with all that uh, YouTube Copa, Copa, whatever fiasco stuff that was. I appreciate you guys' feedback and um support and all that stuff so for those of you that don't know i opted to stay with everything the way that it was because based on some of the new guidelines because i swear youtube did not have some of the guidelines that they do now in their thing when you check their guidelines of what cons what constitutes kid friendly blah 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 I swear some of that wasn't there when it first started. So, um, after reading some of the other stuff that they had, I think everything is fine and dandy, and um, it was a little bit of a, honestly, miscommunication on YouTube's part, because um, there was some... Anyways, I won't get into all of it, but basically everything's fine, and we're keeping things the way that they are. Community pages, comments, polls, cards, all that stuff should be staying... And uh, everybody should be happy. So, with that, um, let's get into a uh, first build of the day. Which, I believe, is the RSN... Yep, I got that right. Defiance Assault Carrier, but this is the refit. The original one I actually did feature, I believe, in uh, a previous episode of the Inspiration series, but this is a refit as it strips a lot of mods out that apparently became unnecessary or was deemed unnecessary, um, as well as some other things that were added and changed around. The description on the um, workshop file page has quite a bit of information on it. I skimmed through most of it as far as functions and forms and all that kind of stuff, but there is still a bit more if you'd like to get a bit more detailed about what's going on. This thing looks fun. It's a big old cannon. There are a couple of mods still, like the ion beam, obviously. Um, there's a few weapon mods, and I'm thinking I said also a couple shield type mods, but the original build had a lot of mods for decorations and other things. This one's using the uh, decorative DLC packs and stuff like that, so it's a little bit different. But I'm excited about it. It looks really cool on the outside. Um, the builder even expressed the inspiration from Halo, the UNSC? Or U UN... I don't remember. I don't remember what it is, but it's <laughs> it's kind of uh, the Halo Navy, basically, designs, which, yeah, I can see it. It, it definitely has um, a Halo style to it, but Halo is cool, so no... no uh, no knocks there. Um, this was also a, a viewer subscriber slash something submission, so that's pretty cool too. Actually, all of the builds in this episode are um, from viewers and subscribers that had uh, suggested different builds. Which, by the way, just one little, one more little PSA before we get into the internals of the ship. Um, I do have a new Discord server that's been doing very well, or fairly well at least. So if you guys want a more direct route of where to um, submit builds that you'd like to see featured, that is also a very good alternative to the YouTube comment section. Sometimes comments get lost in the hustle and bustle and I forget to check them or something like that. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more diligent with keeping up with the Discord server just because that's more of a direct line um, that there's for specific things and rooms for specific things. There's, there is an inspiration series room where you can drop uh, links to things that you want to see featured, and I will review them and see if I want to feature them or not. Also, try not to take it uber personally if I don't. I'm just weird and picky about different things, so... Eh! Like doors. Alright. So, let's... Enough of the... Um, enough of the jabberwocking. Let's get into the build. So, we've got an airlock system here. I want to say this is using a clean armor look because of, well, how clean that armor looks, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, and like I said, keep in mind this is using the um, some of the DLC 
uh, decorative packs and stuff like that. So if you see something, go, oh, that's really cool. Where'd that block come from? Probably that. As far as I know, there was a, there, a lot of the uh, modded um, internal blocks and stuff were stripped out in favor of the official DLC stuff, as far as I'm aware. So we've got events to act to maintenance access. Wait, like this? Oh, wow. Talk about a cubby. I did not even know. I did not even know you could get in there. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. All right. I'm going to turn my headlamps on. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of mood lighting down here. So we're going to make up for it. Now, one interesting thing that I noticed is it looks like for the most part, this should be symmetrical, but it's not in terms of access points. Um, and whatnot. I was expecting one over here as well, but there isn't one. So that's interesting. Most of the time when you see this kind of a build, uh, a lot of times everybody goes with symmetry kind of thing, which I personally like, but I have seen quite a few builds that made use of um, asymmetry to some pretty cool effects. I just, my brain doesn't think asymmetrically. It just, it just doesn't. <laughs> like, I see something and they're like, well, if there's something over here, should be over here too. It's just kind of how my noggin works. Um, this is the only other exception to the mod rule, I believe. There are some elevator things, which is honestly really cool. I like this mod. You can even highlight the floor. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't, um, I haven't played Space Engineers in a while, so there's some modding things that uh, are new to me. Actually, I haven't sp played Space Engineers in a long time that some of the game updates and DLC officially are new to me. So it can be kind of... If I if I end up stopping and ooing and aahing a little too much, that's probably why. <laughs> Alright, so... This looks like some kind of maintenance area for the gravity and gyroscopes. And ladders! Look at the glorious ladders! I know, I know, I made a big deal about them in the last episode, but ladders. If for all of you vet players out there that remember the original ladders, yeah, you know who you are. Um, yeah, ladders are a big deal, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> uh, again, we have some of the new railings here, which, these are cool. I'm still a little um, perplexed on how their collision setup works because it looks like they're kind of floating inside this block uh, this box uh, collision box over here and not like overlapping the glass here so I'm kind of curious how that works but that's actually really cool um, if so because you can put railings here for like a block like this but then you're not taking up um, the two blocks next to it. So if that can fit within that grid, but then still be open to where you can fall down it or something, that's really cool. I did not know that. So that's pretty darn neat. I'm not sure. There's probably a sign for this room. I didn't pay attention to what it said. Main cannon control. All right, so I'm guessing that a couple of these blocks are the cannons themselves, probably the back ends of them. I'm not entirely sure how this cannon thing works. Because we've got a weird angle block there, but we got one up there too. And I only saw one barrel, so I'm not really sure how that... Ooh, this is cool. All right. So that's got to be a super grid. That's really neat, though. That actually works really well. I'll have to make a mental note of that. Um... I've seen this before. We've seen this before I stopped doing um, YouTube for a while. We started seeing a lot of this where the super gridding became official and, and uh, Keen actually added it into the game. There's a toggle for it in the world settings. Um, but using the blaster blocks to really fill up um, wherever the source of the super grid is coming from. Uh, we've seen that used a few times, but I like this setup. There's a lot of screens with chairs and stuff and a few lights. It works really well. It's it's not um, eye-catching, right? Like, it doesn't stand out as a super grid. You just kind of walk by and you're like, ooh, detail, that's cool. So that's really well done. I like that. Um, there also are a few scripts running. I didn't note all of them, but I know there's airlock scripts and a few other things. Uh Man, I really like these railings. These new railings are really cool. Again, I'm probably going to be ogling over some stuff here and there. Oh, that's not part of the cannon. Okay, what is that? It's on a rotor, so it spins, which you know me and spinny things. Oh, yes, it is part of the beam. Okay. 
How is that part of the beam? 2CM beam system. So this mod, this beam mod, feels like a system in and of itself. Like, I don't know, I don't know how this thing works. Ion beam combiner. This feels like reactors in Minecraft, right? Like, combiner, combiner, can turn direction of ion beam, can merge several ion beams with this block. So that must be a way to boost the beam, perhaps? I have really never worked with that mod before, so I don't know anything about it. But there's a lot of these combiner things all over, so I'm kind of guessing it's somehow connecting all the dots. This rotates up or something, and then it charges the main one, and you get like a uber beam? Or a super beam, maybe? Uh, again, don't really know the mods, so can't speak to... How it works. Looks cool though. Looks like something out of freaking Star Trek or Star Wars having some big ion beam floating around. Uh, we've got some programmable blocks here with it looks like ion based information but I'm not sure entirely. That one says power graphs. And I still haven't really played around with the default um, new scripts that are in the blocks by the developers either because there's some uh, data monitoring, power, and um, aviation HUD type stuff that used to be people would mod it. Where, where am I? I'm getting lost again. Okay, so this must come out down here. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so that looks like all there is for the ion room. It looks really cool. I don't know what half of it does, but it looks really cool. Um... But yeah, there's there's some newer blocks directly in the um, programmable block built in now. There's air duct access. Ooh. So this was what we were seeing. Again, I love these graded walkways. That's so cool. I've wanted to do stuff like that for a long time, but you always either had to use partially ground down catwalks or you had to mod it or something. So what is what is happening here? So that's really awesome. I love some of the new decorative blocks. They did a really good job on it. So there's the charging meter for the cannon. We've got shutdown ion generators, fire beam. That sounds fun. Turn on ion generators. I'm gonna push it. Generators online. Oh, I see little blue beams. All right, so we weren't, yeah, we weren't totally wrong. It looks like it's got some kind of little blue beam going to that one. I don't see one coming down. But I saw one going across. Oh, the beam is getting bigger. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. All right. Color me intrigued. Also, I don't know if any, uh, any of you are noticing this. I don't know what's going on here, but the reflections in the window. See how they're kind of like trailing, like an after image kind of thing? That's really interesting. I'm assuming that's part of the new default engine changes, not the, um, a th oh, we're going to a thousand percent charging? Is that what's happening? Okay. Overkill much, but, I mean, I'm down. That works for me. Do these buttons do anything? No. These do. Oh, we're over a thousand percent. All right, I'm just gonna let that thing go until it blows up the ship, which it's probably gonna do. <laughs> oh, look at that! Wow! Talk about a light show. Ooh, yeah, this uh, reflection shifting is weird. It's like ghost images or something. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's part of the new way that they're doing windows or something. I don't think that's a mod or anything. I can't see that. It's either a byproduct or a, of a mod or it's not a mod because I can't see that being something. Starboard combat and hangar. Oh, we didn't check the hangar, did we? There was a hangar entrance somewhere. Combat hangar. Let's check out the hangar real quick. Ooh, very mood lit. Again, I am playing with my um, HUD lamps and stuff back and forth. Um, I try and do that because some of these rooms and stuff have really cool ambiance and lighting. And when you walk in with just your lights on, it washes everything out. But at the same time, um, I do try and turn them on and off sometimes because for YouTube, I know watching a video, sometimes it comes off a little darker. And brighter is always, almost always better 
for YouTube videos and such. So I'm playing around with it. Um, also, I don't know how many of you recall, because I didn't make a huge deal about it. I mentioned it on like Twitter and stuff. Uh, but I did move over like shortly before the end of last year, somewhere in September, October area. Um, and I hadn't done any recording since then because I hadn't been doing YouTube stuff since then. So I am still trying to get all of my settings retweaked and stuff. Um, so if my volume on my microphone or the, or the game volume or something sounds off or I'm too quiet, it's too loud, whatever, feel free to let me know either in uh, Discord or the comment sections of this video. And I will try and balance it a little better. So um, we're, we're getting back to a regular schedule and, and regular featured uploads and everything. But bear that in mind uh, because I am still trying to get everything squared away and get back into a routine. Um, airlock automation, air, automatic LCDs, artificial horizon, shields, custom turret AI, vanilla missiles, scripting mainframe. Wow, this is really, this is a cool setup. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta point this out. This is really cool. So this is actually a super grid right here on these blast door blocks. I'm assuming this is just button and LCDs, and then they're set up to control, like, the pro programmable blocks are going to be looking for these button inputs, I'm imagining. I'm not entirely sure. Um, power graphs, floor plan. But this is a cool idea. So they've got, it looks like, the LCD screens up there are on and off depending on if the script is running. So, like, here's the on button, here's the off button. And the, this is the information of what it is, and the LCD is telling you whether it's on or not. Let's test that. Artificial horizon. Yep. I'm gonna steal this. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna steal this at some point. This is really cool. Because we've seen mods that had, like, the cool computer mainframe thing, but this is actually like a vanilla. You could do this without mods. This is really cool. Okay, I really, really like this. Um, the only thing personally I would probably do differently is I would probably keep this edge squared like the rest of these edges. Um, if you'll notice, this one has an angle with a slope bottom. I wouldn't mind that if the whole thing was that way, but again, coming back to my asymmetry thing, it bothers me. So if I was doing it, I would probably do um, all the same around the bottom and then keep that edge, but I am totally going to steal this at some point. I apologize in advance. This is really cool. I know, it's my inner programmer. I'm geeking out over it, sorry. Um, my inner programmer sees cool things every now and again for program. What in the world? Alright, where am I going here? I will say this. For me personally, I've never been a big fan of this kind of stuff where you clearly see square grooves and all that. I know a lot of builders do this, mainly because you're never really going to come down here for the most part unless the things take damage. Um, and you can see there's railings and stuff like it wasn't completely neglected or anything like that. This is definitely on purpose, but a lot of builders I've seen do this kind of stuff where they build around things and then, um, you know, leave some of the maintenance here. I just, I don't know, it bothers me. A little bit. This is a personal style, though. It's one of those, like I said, it's not like it's neglected or you're not supposed to get down in here or something. And some people probably would say that it gives it more of an industrial feel, right? Like, you're gonna have a more uh, guts of the ship feel if it's not all beautified type of thing. Uh, but for me personally, I, I like when even the engine rooms and stuff have a little bit of, of uh, aesthetic appeal to them. Even if you're going with the uh, cluttered engine look, just to have a bit more detail and cluttered, like, on purpose look, if that makes sense. Uh, greebles. Remember my new favorite word, greebles. So rear airlock. Um, like, some of this is pretty cool, like having the angles in here. I like that. That's neat. It, that feels very gutsy to me. Like, this is part of the hull, but then you got pipes running through the guts. That's cool. I like the curved blocks here. Like, this room's cool. I like this. This would this would be good enough to me for, for an engine room. You wouldn't have to do crazy detail or anything like that. Just something. But again, that's personal preference and style. Some builders would disagree with me, so, you know. Whatever floats your boat. 
literally this is a space boat so whatever floats your boat um i got out of here on accident because i'm just wandering around the ship i don't think i meant to i wasn't quite done yet I do apologize, this episode's gonna run a little bit longer, probably, um, just like the last one I did, mainly because the first part I talked a little bit about some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, I, I do- ooh, okay, 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 cool. Love this. Love this. I like, um, how the spotlights in this game add, like, volume- not volumetrics necessarily, but atmospheric lighting, where you get the cool rays from the grid, or from the grate on it really love the lighting in this room. This looks so cool. What is that? That's just red LCD screens, I guess, up there? Man, that looks cool. And then you got like the accent blue. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Love this. I'm a sucker for lighting. If you got cool lighting, I'm gonna like it. I don't even care if it's an ugly build. If it's got cool lighting in it and a cool ambiance, I'm gonna like it. So, <laughs> if you want your build on the Inspiration series and I haven't featured it yet, just change your lighting. I'll probably feature it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is real. I love the lighting in this area. Ooh. Holy. All right. Um, I think, I think the ship is probably well powered. <laughs> Also, this hanging light thing is a cool idea. The the interior light on the um, interior pillar, I think that's a cool idea. It kind of gives me a a Sith vibe. I don't know why. Something from like M the Empire. I'm not really sure why that gives me that vibe. It just does, but it's cool. I went the wrong way. I ignored the arrow. Don't do that. Uh. All right, what do we got here? This is actually a cool trick too. They're using half blocks to hide a LCD, LCD panel. So that kind of makes it look a little bit like recessed lighting, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, I will say there's nothing you can do about it. It's the engine of the game that Space Engineers is built on. But I do feel like that's kind of weird. Like, the fact that you're not seeing any red here is weird. Because when you walk in and the light takes effect, then it's, like, fully red. And that's kind of odd to me. But again, it's not the builder's fault. That's that's the engine. That's the way the engine's handling lighting. Um, I just feel like that's a little odd. Like, it goes from there's no red light at all to just like that. There's no green here. You don't see any green down that hallway and then BAM! Like, your whole screen's full of green light. So, that's... that's odd. I've never actually seen the engine do that before, but... Ooh... See, this is cool. Oh, okay, There's that's another mod, I think. What do we got here? Shield Flux Coil. So that's gonna be for the shield mod. Um, this is very... Empire to me that whole feeling like you're you're gonna drop off that edge and it's a bottomless pit down there And you got stuff hanging that's very Imperial to me Star Wars-esque um, I'm actually looking for the bridge in case you were wondering what I was looking for. I was looking for the bridge I'm lost um, <laughs> It's fairly common actually uh, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be up here Oh yeah, okay, we're good. Um, one of these doors has to take me to the bridge somewhere. Or... Could take me to the back thruster area. That leads nowhere. Alright, well, that's not to the bridge. Okay, okay. Uh, where... Let's try and reverse my steps a little bit. Where did I end up? I went this way. And I went this way. Alright out here. Let's follow the arrows. That's probably not a bad idea. Okay, there's battery room. Got it. Alright. And normally I would cut this out because I'm just wandering back through places that we've been, but I'm not sure if I'm going to end up in trying to find where I'm going. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up running into something I haven't seen before. So, I figured I would just keep Keep going. Uh, let's see. So this looks promising. Oh, this was the main engineering room. All right. 
lower engineering decks, and the airlock. I don't know if they're down there or not. Upper level, exit, vent. You know, we didn't even use um, the elevator yet, now that I think about it. I don't know where those go. I'm probably going through the stairwell areas of where the elevators would take you. I'm just thinking out loud that I haven't actually... Gosh, there's more places to... Where am I? <laughs> there... How does someone get lost with so many signs? I feel like this is a talent of mine. I'm so lost in here. And there's signs posted everywhere as to where I should be going. How does this happen? Alright, not gonna get anywhere from there. Where? That's a dead end. I am... Like I said, I hadn't seen this area before, so it's good that I'm still filming this, I guess. But I am so lost right now. I just need a main hallway or something. Where, where am I going? Alright, this should take us back out to that main... Oh! Alright. I've been here before. Oh yeah, I went that way. <laughs> okay. Alright, 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 alright. Now we're here. Okay, now, now, now we're somewhere where we know where things are. So, there's the elevators here. Let's see... Let's see where these go. Let's try the top floor. There's, it's gotta be up top because there's a glass view window. Okay, those elevators are amazing. Here we go. Elevator here. Bridge. Looks like up. So I need to go up again. Com okay, there's CIC. There's bridge. Alright, we're on the right track. Ooh. Okay, I have to admit this. I like this logo with this bluish white light on this um, carbon fiber. I think that's carbon fiber. I think I had this discussion in the last episode and I couldn't figure it out. Bridge is that way. Let's check out the CIC. Ooh. Pretty. All right. A lot of detail work in here with these small grid things, which is I've come to the conclusion, unless unless you're using mods, you gotta go with small grids to do your, like, CICs and stuff. There's just too much buttons and screens that you need to make a good CIC room. Oh, this is cool! Alright, check this out. Uh, yet another thing I'm totally gonna steal at some point. So here's your alert systems, which is cool. But, we've got the super grid going, right? Which is actually cool in and of itself. It looks like they're using half blocks, and then half blocks again out here to kind of give it a bevel um but i really like this They're, the screens are elevated slightly so to cover that up they put um screens or i mean led lcd screens all the way around in the corners and i'm guessing if i hit red alert they'll all turn red well that turned red anyway oh cool so everything's locking down that's pretty awesome I'm surprised that the, um... Alright, all clear. I'm surprised that these lights didn't change. That would be something that would look really cool. Anyway, we've got, um... Those are probably just static images, but we got a cool screen here. We got, again, the ambiance, the volumetric light. That is more volumetric, because it's got that, like, dust particle look to it going on. So that's pretty cool. Commander's seat goes here, looks like. We've got a bunch more programmable blocks, probably running stuff. Command med bay. Ooh. Let's check out the med bay. And again, with some of the new blocks, this works really well and looks really cool. And you didn't have to do like a million uh, weird tricks to make the, the med bay look right. Oh cool, we got the lockers and everything too. Sweet. That looks really good. Alright, and last but not least, let's check out the bridge. Oh, we didn't check the command quarters. Let's check that. Okay, so this is really cool. This is really cool. Yet again, we've got a wood grain texture now we can use from the decorative blocks and stuff. So this makes every, all the, the makeshift furniture that a lot of builders have been using for a long time, it makes it look way more believable and better. Um, again, we've got like some white mixed with the, the wood color so it looks more like a couch. Uh, change in the colors for here for the bed. It all just looks a lot better. Uh, light toggle. So I'm guessing that's that one. All right. We've got a nice TV screen with an air vent and again an office type setup. This is really well done. I like this. 
This looks really good. And with the new bathroom blocks, we've got bathrooms. And a locker and stuff. Works really well. Which is something I've been saying for years. That the, uh, like, by default they needed to add stuff like that in there. Ooh. Hello. When I thought when I heard bridge, I thought like a flight seat or something. This is a um, this is a bridge. Oh, and I'm in love with these new blocks, by the way. These uh, transparent LCD screens. Mm. So cool, especially for signs like this. That works really well. Damage control. Wow, this is like a legit bridge. This works really well, and I like the added uh, added the additive blast door protection thing. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing this is the main flight seat? Maybe? <gasps> Ooh, spinny things. 80,000% charging. Good grief. That cannon's gonna destroy a planet. Um, my only beef with that screen over there is you can't really read it very well. But that's a minor gripe. Alright. What do we got here? Fire beam. Favorite button. Front Talion guns, front torpedoes, torpedoes everywhere, which is always good, cameras, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot with this just because we're running short on time as it is, I'm already at like 30 minutes, I got two more builds to go through, so that's not going to go well, uh, port missile batteries, blah blah blah, so let's just fire off some stuff and see what happens, um, oh, what was that, I don't know how fast those fire, Apparently not very fast. What are these? Hmm. I must... I don't see them. I hear them. Okay. Oh, unless that was the... Those, maybe from all the times I pushed it. Alright, let's fire the beam. Let's see what happens. Yep. Planet done. How fast is that fire, I wonder? Now it says zero. It had a higher charge than that. Probably gotta wait for it to charge up now. Anyway, so... I really do like that beam thing. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's like a laser beam. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to shoot that at something? Now, for controls, let's see how she flies. Um... Is... okay. Why is the speed not changing? That's weird. Do I have a parking brake on or something? <laughs> I hear the landing gear things going, but I can't figure out why it's not moving. That's right. Oh, you know what it is? I probably accidentally pasted this in as a station. That's probably what happened, because it's not moving and stations can't move. So, that's probably my bad. The description said it actually moves really well for the size of the ship, so I was kind of expecting it to move really good. I like the thruster layout, too, with those, like, angled-type cutouts. That's pretty cool. I really like the thruster design. Um, but again, that's probably my fault. I probably accidentally pasted it in as a station. Uh, oh, yep, it even... <laughs> <laughs> it even says it down in the bottom right corner. Station. All right. Uh, let's see here. What is the but I have not played this game in a minute. Where is it? Nope, nope. There's a way. Convert to ship. There we go. Now. That's better. Now it's moving. So, again, it is a little bit on the sluggish side for acceleration, but this is kind of supposed to be a big ship. Like a, a capital vessel, mothership type thing. Um, so it's not really surprising that it moves a bit slower. So with that, I know we're running really long this episode. I do apologize for that. I'm a little rusty at this, so, um, lemonade out of lemons here. But let's move on relatively quickly to the next one. Alright, so next up we have the French town preparing for war. This is actually a really, really cool build. Um, I mentioned this on the Discord server that I had a couple people asking me um, if I do bases and not just ships. And normally I try and focus on ships, but honestly the Inspiration series has always kind of been about building techniques that are unique and different that could help other people 
um, make their builds better. So it doesn't really matter if it's a base or a, um, a ship, as long as it's got some really cool design work and builds in it um, to add to someone's arsenal for how they build stuff. So I was okay with bases as long as they're cool and unique and have interesting properties just like ships. There's ships that I don't use uh, sometimes even if somebody asks me about them just because I don't feel it's unique enough in terms of the way it's built. It just kind of is the way a lot of other people do it. So um, this really caught my eye because there's, uh, and I highly recommend that you guys download this one and look through it yourself. There is a couple mods, but it is a world file so you don't have to worry about which ones. The reason I say that is because I could probably spend another 45 minutes going through this one and I just don't have time to look through every little thing on it, but there's a lot to this build. I mean, just these. This is really cool. It actually looks legitimately like an old artillery unit or something. It doesn't look gimmicky or uber fake or anything like that. Now, I think this is a mod. Yeah. So there's a few mods for World War II era stuff, I believe, like that that uh, artillery barrel and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, a lot of this you can see is done with vanilla blocks. There's some uh, modded blocks in here. Like, this looks modded. Though, quite frankly, I haven't played the vanilla game in long enough. That may They may have a hydrogen engine in there now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just, just some of the design ideas and stuff, uh, using these little half blocks here, changing the material at certain spots, um, little things, right? Like, it's, it's not always <laughs> busted engines so that it looks like a chimney and stuff like that. Really, really cool. And it's, and it's not just one building. There, there's stuff on certain buildings that looks cool, then there's tanks over here that are well done. Wait a minute. Is that a mod? With the with the wheel? Wait a minute. How is this tread here? What? Alright. Alright. Hold up. What? There's gotta be a mod on on this, cause um <sighs> Right? Like there <laughs> that has to be a mod. I've never seen a tread like that before. <laughs> so that's gotta be a mod. I'm I'm saying it's a mod. I'm saying it's a mod. Um, when I downloaded the world, it said there was only like three files that it downloaded, but it was like 300 megs, so I'm assuming they're like packs, not single blocks. Uh, but this is another good example. All of this is half blocks and stuff, but yet it makes a fence. Like, that's, that's really cool. And the use of half blocks here to make a fence and stuff. So it's stuff like that that I'm looking at that I'm like, this is really cool. Um, mixing in these curved blocks to make it kind of look like bumpy shingles and stuff like that. That's really neat. I really like this. So there's a lot to this build just in um, not only the modded, but even excluding the modded, just the vanilla techniques that are really well done. I really like it. So I know there's no, there's not enough time for me to go through every single thing I think is cool in here or unique. Um, or to really micro- oh, look at that! Look at that! The little lantern things. Which looks like a combination of half blocks, incomplete interior lights, corner lights, and LCD screens with probably a reactor in the middle or a battery to, tr to power it. Just stuff like that. Really cool. Uh, these crates is not a bad idea either. Mixing, alternating uh, blast door blocks to make crates out of stuff. That's pretty neat. This looks like a mod of some kind that it's not picking it up so that's got to be some kind of mod thing um so like i said there's a couple here and there but for the most part a lot of this is actually vanilla surprisingly so um there's trucks and stuff my actually i think what's impressing me the most right now is this market stuff like this um these fruit stands and things is pretty awesome that somebody actually went through in terms of level of detail and actually put all this in here. And like watermelons using, <laughs> using spheres as watermelons. That's awesome. That's really cool. What is this? Blast door. That's gotta be using one of the new skins because that looks super shiny. What is this over here? Oh, it did mention that in the description. Cows. Space engineer cows. Never knew you could make them. Never knew you needed them. I think there should be cows 
in every other build now. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is really well done. I really like it. There's a lot to this build. And like I said, a lot of it's like this kind of stuff, although there are the new decorative mods for like kitchens and stuff. Um, some of this is actually pretty cool though in finagling and figuring out different ways to do um, vanilla stuff. Uh, one big thing that I see in this build very prominently is the, um, the use of textures, colors, and skins. I say textures, but it, it'd probably be more accurate to say skins and stuff like that, that there's, I mean, some of these blocks are almost the same block, but when you change the pattern or the color slightly or something like that, um, it really makes it more believable kind of thing. So that's one big lesson you can learn just from, just from this. Ooh, what is that one? Heavy. Oh, the heavy one has some kind of bolt things in it. That's interesting. Interesting. So different blocks react to the different skins in different ways. That I didn't know. I thought it just kind of skinned them the same way. That's cool. So yeah, this is really cool. There's a lot here. Like this kind of stuff too. You can go over this for a while of like the uh, the archway, the little brick settings. Oh. Oh, archways. That is a cool archway. Archways are tough for me. Anyway, I don't know about you guys, but for me they're tough. So that... Is that one half block? Or two half blocks? That's two half blocks put together to make an off-center single block. Now that's a cool trick. That is really cool. So you've got... If you need something in between, is putting half blocks to where you've got a full block size, but it's offset and it's in the center. That's really tricky. That's pretty cool. Um, and then it looks like uh, a base. Okay, a two by one base, single slope, reversed base, and then half blocks. That's a really nicely done archway. I like it. I like it a lot. The pews. That's a neat way to do the armrests, actually, is doing the curve. Like I said, you can go through here and dissect this a lot. There's a lot of little techniques in here that's really, really cool. So I highly recommend you guys checking this out on your own. Um, oh, the bell's actually moving. That's pretty cool. It's got to be on a rotor. Yeah, that's cool. And this is on a loose rotor in the middle, so it actually clangs back and forth. That's awesome! Little attentions to detail like that are, are what make builds like these work really well. Oh! Field of cows. Didn't see this many cows. <laughs> this one's... <laughs> okay, that's supposed to be eating. I thought it was tipped over. I was like, they even included cow tipping! Which would be hilarious. Uh, but yeah. Then we got a guard tower up here. Really cool. So yeah. Really, really like this build. I highly recommend you guys check this out on your own time and really dig into it. There's a lot you could learn from this, and I'm, there's a lot of cool building techniques in here. But for now, we're going to wrap this one up here, and let's move on to the last one. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have Dr. K Industries Research Island and PvP Deathmatch map. Now, one thing I have to say about this real quick is this is a world file, and as such, I didn't have direct control over the settings without loading it in, re backing back out, changing settings, blah, 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 blah. So, at the moment, I don't have a jetpack on and stuff like that, so we're going to run this kind of like we would... Oh, man. Oh, my. There's beacons everywhere. Uh, but we're gonna run this kind of like we would um, if we were actually playing the map, so you'll have to bear with me for a minute. Um, so obviously we have this introduction here with the uh, Welcome to the Island game. The game is set up as a uh, free-for-all with respawn enabled for 20 minutes. After that it goes to a last engineer standing. Your goal is to eliminate all other personnel, personnel, other people from the island. <laughs> um, so, I have to say, this right here, I love this room. Um, 
Mainly because, oh yeah, look at that. Now this would probably terrify me in real life, um, because I have a healthy fear of heights. <laughs> But in gaming, this looks awesome, right? And actually, in real life, it's it's awesome anyway, but I'd, I'd really want, like, four engineers to sign off on it being stable. Um, I tell everybody all the time I don't have a fear of heights. I have a fear of falling. So anytime I feel like I could fall, I get a little uneasy. Uh, but yeah, I love this room because it kind of feels like a mountain built, a, a cabin balcony built into a mountainside kind of thing, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then we've got what I assume to be kind of a world display there. I'm not really sure. Or maybe a team flag. Keep your helmet open while you're on the island. That makes sense. Um, access denied. Access denied. I might have to reload this, actually. <laughs> I can't get out of here. Um, what am I supposed to do? Is there, are you supposed to push a button? Oh, everything's denied. Um, okay. Okay. Open. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went back and fixed a couple things. So now I've got my tools back and I got my jetpack back and it's in creative mode. So I kind of punched a hole through that window, unfortunately, um, because I forgot to toggle the uh, reset ownership thing to where I would have control of the, well, controls, but I digress. So I just kind of broke my way out of that. Uh, this is kind of insane. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool looking that there's all kinds of stuff here. Again, this is another one of those where I highly encourage you to check it out yourself due to the time constraints of having taken so long on that first build. I probably cannot see everything there is to see in this um, map, unfortunately, but I highly encourage you guys to check it out yourselves uh, because it looks like there's gonna be a lot. Um, this dining room area cool. I really- whoa! What the heck? Alright, so you've got a mountain base with a freaking asteroid tethered to- Okay, that's- we gotta- we- we have got to see that. That looks insane. Alright, how do I get out of here? This is really cool. I could spend days running around in here, but I gotta see that asteroid thing before we run out of time. Cause, holy crap. That looks really cool. Um communal bathroom area it looks like there's just like bathrooms everywhere in here um all right let's uh let's take the express route shall we i'm guessing oh that's cool i'm guessing that clock is the time wait no that's actually the time that's cool at least for me when i was filming this all right so we've got another thing here we've got a basketball court that's okay now that's cool they did, um, images. They did a, se a sequence of images on LCD screens. That's pretty clever, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty neat. It's a really cool trick for any of you that are wanting to, like that, you know? You want something, like a big logo or something, chop it up. That's pretty cool. All right, up and up and up and up and up. I'm, I'm assuming up has to get me to the asteroid thing at some point, right? Well, that's, that's the assumption. Um. Okay, okay, we're getting closer. Getting closer. I'm not sure where this goes, but let's find out. Ooh! Spooky. This is the uh, sneaky Halo players hideout, because remember, this is supposed to be a PvP match map. Whoa! Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy. <laughs> so many stairs. Oh my gosh, I just looked up. So many stairs. Alright, um. Hmm. Yay, the end of stairs. Cool. Alright. Wow, it's dark out here. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm not sure what I did. Oh, uh, wait, what is... What is going on here? Why, why, why no jetpack? Oh. Oh, for some reason, um, even though this is in creative mode, I ran out of hydrogen. I'm not sure how that happened. That's really, really weird. All I did was I changed the time. As I was standing up top there, right up there, changed the time, something blew up, and I flew across the map and I ended up here. Not really sure how that happened. Um... 
but again, I digress. So this is cool. How did how did they do this? We got a railing, got some half blocks, got some blast blocks, got some rotors connected to a big rotor, use it to start a super grid. But are they just loosely put together? And then it just lets the gravity pull it to where it hangs? And how did they end up connecting it over here? That's nuts. All right. At some point, I have got to build a freaking um, hanging rope bridge type thing like this at some point in one of my own builds. I don't know when, but it's got to happen. All right. So we're in this asteroid thing. I swear this map is huge. Like, you guys really need to look through this yourself. There is so much to this map. There's no way I'm going to get it all done. Man. Like, this is a whole nother area. I didn't even look through. All right, all right, all right. I've got it now. It's because it's set up to be a deathmatch thing, and I'm somehow set to the wrong faction for those turrets. What is that? That is a gold hydrogen engine. I mean, feels a little gaudy if you ask me. <laughs> Somebody's like, look at my bling, I've got a gold hydrogen engine. It's like, pimp my hydrogen engine. <laughs> oh man, a spinning reactor. I feel like that was made to impress me. It's working. Um, you guys know me in spinny things. Lighting and spinny things, that's the easiest way to... I keep using... I keep wanting to use my jetpack. Oh, man. That's really cool, though. I wonder how... I wonder how they got that to clear. That looks like that would hit that and break it. Man, there is so much to this build. You can get lost in this place. Not that I am, or anything. <clears throat> totally know where I'm at um but yeah that's crazy and then they added the terrain thing to look like ropes I guess I mean this is one of those you know how when people are like I made something cool and then I go online like on reddit or something and you find like a million builds that are way better than yours I kind of feel like this is one of those builds where like you're like yeah I built a cool base and then you pull this on the workshop and it's got a freaking asteroid tethered to it. And it's and all that detail work inside in the sub and it's like, yeah, no, um I made a cool one. I didn't make one that cool. <laughs> uh, I I'm I mean, I made this series to be inspiring, not demoralizing, but sometimes even myself, I feel like it backfires on me where I'm like, let's go look at some cool stuff. And then I look at it and I'm like, man. I don't think I'd ever build anything that cool. <laughs> you know? Hey, I'm at least glad they had ladders, right? Oh, don't you, don't tell me. Oh, these are modded ladders. Oh, okay. I was waiting for the animation thing and stuff. I was like, wait, do I have to be the right faction to use the ladders? And look at this! They even have a, uh... Like an actual external on the ra on a railing for that area. That's cool so cool this actually really does feel like a deathmatch map because honestly i could see stuff like this i could see like halo and stuff um being being uh having maps like this for for um pvp and stuff i wonder can i of course you're not gonna give me hydrogen why would you jerks now granted i mean the default setting is supposed to have the jetpack turned off, so it does kind of make sense, but... I'm actually really not sure, just as an unrelated topic to the map itself. Also, by the by, I like this, too, that they've got, like, these pillar columns built in, but it's not all the way. It's just, like, built into the walls, but then the rest of it is just mountains. This actually, right here, these kinds of hallways feel like those luxurious resort places where they built something super high quality and fancy, but it's like built into a rock wall kind of thing. That's what it reminds me of. Um, 
But on an unrelated note to the map directly, I don't really know why I could use my jetpack before and then I got blown up or blown across the map and then not so much. And it's kind of confusing to me because I have it set to creative mode. So it shouldn't consume hydrogen when I'm flying. So I don't really know what happened there. It's kind of weird. That looks like some kind of arm mechanism. I'm not. I'm probably not supposed to be out here, but you know, kind of goes with the whole PvP match thing. I always did that in Halo. Always got where I wasn't supposed to be, and then no one could find me. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't done it before, I recommend it. <laughs> it'll it'll make the opponents really mad. Uh, but yeah, this is intense. Like, this is really cool. I can't even imagine how long this must have taken to work, or to get it. Especially this stuff. You're not even building at this point. You're just boring through stuff, and, it ho and hopefully, hopefully it lines up. You know? That's crazy. But that definitely feels very PvP-ish-esque, -ish whatever. Um, like, running through tunnels and stuff, and then connecting to the rest of the base. Gives me flashbacks from like Halo and Call of Duty and stuff where you'd get, you know, stuck in places and, and where is everybody? And then you'd just find a bunch of bodies in the hallway or in a tunnel somewhere because that turned into a kill zone. But anyways, holy crap, I just realized, I just looked at the time and realized how long this episode has gotten. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to wrap this up here. Again, I highly recommend uh, that you guys check this out yourself. What is this anyway? Launch? <gasps> what? Alright. I've just fallen in love with this map. That is awesome. They have launch pads. Who does that? <laughs> Top that. Your base is cool. Mine has launch pads. That makes me want to build a base where the entire way you traverse the base is launch pads flinging you from island to island. That would be awesome. Builders, all you out there watching this, make it happen. I would love that. Anyways, we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.